The M1 Max have been a huge hit because of its M1 processors, great performance, and it's just good bang for the buck. However, what's not good bang for the buck is those SSD prices because the two terabyte version can run you back $800. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to build your own SSD and save you a ton of money. Hi there, it's Mike from Sabrin, and here on this channel, we're gonna be talking about tech and tech related tips and stuff like that. So hit that subscribe button if that's what you're into. But today I have the gorgeous 24 inch iMac and this has the M1 Pro processor and everything is brilliant about it. But this iMac, if you want to spec it out to two terabytes, will cost you $800. So like I said earlier, I'm going to show you a way of building your own SSD that not only will be fast, but save you a ton of money. So right over here, I've got the Sabrin Thunderbolt 3 to NVMe SSD tool-free enclosure, as well as a Sabrin two terabyte drive. So this package will be a lot cheaper than going for Apple's own storage. So first of all, let's unbox the Thunderbolt enclosure. And this is a really nice Thunderbolt enclosure because first of all, you get the instructions, you get obviously the Thunderbolt cable. You also get some thermal pads as well. So we've given you two different sizes. So we've got a 0.8 millimeter and a 1.2 millimeter uh, thermal pad, which would be great for these SSDs as they can tend to run hot when you're pushing them. And then over here, we've got this beautiful al aluminum uh, uh, Thunderbolt enclosure and the great thing with this is it's completely tool free. Looking around the enclosure it is made really really well and it's all tool free like I said so at the bottom you get two uh, four rubber feet which make it secure when it's on your desk and it's not moving around and then you got this little tab just over here turn it and that's how you enter in your SSD. So let's go ahead and do that so I'll crack open this uh, rocket uh, NVMe SSD and this is really fast more than enough for an enclosure like this and as I said you also get some thermal pads with the enclosure and the one that I would recommend with this one is the 0.8 millimeter one so it's really easy just to install the thermal pad because all that you do is just peel this backing off and then this just sticks onto the SSD and then peel off the top layer and then that will sandwich really nicely to this bottom plate, which will allow the heat to dissipate around the aluminium case. So to install the SSD, it is so easy. All that you do is just slot the SSD inside, push it down, and then there's a little uh, sort of clasp and you just rotate that and now that SSD isn't gonna go anywhere. And then what you do is, is you just slide that back in to the bottom twist that so it's all locked in place. And there you go, we now have a very fast SSD to use with the new M1 Max. So now that we've built our SSD, we need to connect it. So all that you need to do is just plug it in to the back of the iMac. Now, once you've connected it to your iMac, you wanna open up Disk Utility, go into External, select the SSD, click Arrays, and then make sure the format is on APFS. Then just name the drive to whatever you want and then click Arrays, and then that will make it into a readable format for the iMac. So if we open up the SSD storage, as you can see, nothing's inside. Now, I've got a 10 gig compressed file. So I'm gonna grab my iPhone and we're gonna see how quickly it will take to transfer this 10 gig file over to the SSD. And trust me, it is fast. So three, two, one. Oh my God, that was under eight seconds for transferring a 10 gig file. And it's not just quick when it comes to transferring as well. It is also quick when it comes to video editing or photo editing. Like I've been editing 4K, 10-bit, 422 video files in Final Cut Pro, in Mac OS, and honestly, not a single hiccup, even after hours and hours of use. Honestly, this has been super impressive for me. So let me run another test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this file and we're gonna see how quickly it does uh, take. And that was done. That was literally ridiculous. And remember, this is 10 gigabytes. So if we just open that up and we have a look, well, that is actually a little over 10 gigabytes. That's 10.4 gigabytes, and it duplicated it that fast. So let's do that again. I mean, it was too quick for me to even time, but 
there you go. It's duplicated. That's 10 and a half gigabytes. Um, yeah, pretty impressive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decompress this file. So three, two, one. And done, that took 20 seconds to complete. That is really, really fast. That is literally as fast as it does on its internal drive. So yeah, in terms of speeds, you're gonna be absolutely fine. You're gonna be working off this drive. So if you are looking for a really fast drive that is gonna be reliable, that is not gonna cost you an arm and leg and you're just looking for something portable as well. Because the great thing with going for an external drive like this is that you can move it on from one Mac to another Mac and it can even plug into an iPad Pro or anything like that because it has the Thunderbolt connection. So the new M1 iPad Pros, because it has the Thunderbolt connection, this will actually work perfectly with it. So let's get into some benchmarks because some of you guys want to know the raw numbers. So let's see how quick this drive is on the new M1 Max. So right over here, I've got Black Magic Speed Test. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to save the target drive as the SSD. So there you go. So we're going to press open. And then in terms of the stress test, we're going to go all the way up to five gigabytes to really stress test it. And let's press start. So, wow, okay, yeah, this is beating pretty much most uh, commercially available SSDs out there. And this is probably more affordable than those. So as you can see, this thing in terms of file transfer, working off of it for, you know, 4K video editing, anything like that, you're gonna be absolutely fine with this drive. It is built really well, it's easy to use, and you can swap out the SSD. So if you need more storage, rather than having to buy a whole new uh, SSD enclosure and everything like that, well, just replace the SSD in slides and you saved yourself even more money in the long run. So if you wanna pick yourself up this little kit, I'll leave the links down in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video and gained something out of it, then please smash that like button for us as that really does help out the channel. Also, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified of any future videos. And also, leave a comment down below on what you would like to see next. Anyway, everyone, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.